Hello, this is John with Theology Ed. Okay, we're going to look at this scene very quickly today. I'm still working on parts five and six now of the iPad Go To Explained series where we're going through the video in a detailed way. A lot of really interesting things that I'm going to be explaining there, really important as well. I just need to make sure they're organized so that I can articulate them well and present them clearly. So that's what I'm working on and putting a lot of time into but along the way, I wanted to show some things that are simple, that uh, are interesting observations, and that don't require a lot of rich the, uh, explanation of the, and deep explanation of symbolism, uh, history, mythology, and all of that, uh, so that we can just make observations and say, wow, that confirms what we've been looking at so far. And, and I have one of those right now. We have another buck moon here that associates that rabbit from the classroom with the full moon that comes on the July 4th, 5th night. Okay, so that's the July 4th, 5th, first full moon after the annular solar eclipse on June 21st, solstice, uh, which is also Father's Day. So we have the first full moon after the solstice eclipse on uh, June 21st. That is called the buck moon. That's the July 4th, 5th full moon that we see throughout the video. And in the classroom and some clouds, um, and here we have it again. If you look over here, we have the circle. That's a moon, but it's a strange moon. It has two legs, and it has a little neck, and it has two big rabbit ears. So right there. It's a goofy-looking rabbit, but that's because instead of trying to make it look very rabbity and bunny-like, the focus was on making sure it's very clearly a moon. So we have a moon with legs and bunny ears to make it very clear that this is a buck moon. And so obviously as we leave the classroom, we see that what's been going on while well, the presidents have been in there doing their thing is the false flag attacks like the first 9-11. So here's the Twin Towers about to go down representing the first 9-11. Uh, but we have all sorts of evidence of a second attack or uh, event that's going to bring about major change, bigger than even the first 9/11, and it's a big water event. The fence going into the water. I've talked about I talk about this a lot. I'm going to explain this in detail. What uh, as a lot of details about the uh, false flag attack that's coming uh, in one of the next two videos. Okay, I've already got the outline mostly created for the uh, creation of that video, so that's coming soon. Uh, but but either way, the you see the other false flag attack. Uh, or at least what's left over after that attack. And we have the buck moon again. We have the buck up here being embraced by the demons. We have the bunny over by the uh, oil rigs where, they, where, the, where it says rain. Uh, even says 7-5 uh, written there when the lightning flashes. We have the rabbit obviously in the classroom. And there's more in the classroom that I'll explain in the hearts video that ties this all together. But here we have a very easy to see when we're looking for it as a moon, a buck moon. All right. Uh, like, comment. Hey, subscribe if you're not subscribed so that you get notified about the coming videos. I got a couple of really good ones coming. All right. Take care.